and both teams make their way out. We're live here at Nywood Lane, full back of the net for this Ryman Premier League final. As both sets of players make their way out to the pitch and line up for the usual pre-match photographs and pre-match handshakes. Both these teams full of experience in the playoffs as they look to find a way into the National South this afternoon. Alongside me for the commentary is Merston manager Hayden Bird, Dorking Wanderers manager Mark White, fresh from that success of the Ryman Division 1 playoff victory on Saturday. And Lee Bradbury, the Haven Waterlooville manager, of course, finishing top of this league this season. Both Jamie and Gavin are veterans at the playoffs. Uh, both managers have done a tremendous job with their teams. I think it'll be a fascinating game. I think it's a fitting Ryman Premier Division playoff final with two excellent sides. First corner of the game, and it's gone to Bogner. Opportunity to get this ball into the Dulwich 18 yard box. Corner comes in, it's a good corner as well. It's going to be ahead, and it's just wide. It was a really good cross, and it's Sammy El Ab to rose the highest. Even though Charman and El Ab aren't, aren't the biggest as far as size and stature, both very good in the air, good timing, and, and very aggressive in the air. As the he shows there, beating him, just heading over the crossbar. Yeah. El Ab, Great you know, free always kick. on the move. Great free kick there from Beck, who's played in again towards El Abd. And it was another opportunity for a header, not as good an opportunity towards the edge of the 18 yard box, but he's still got his head on it and just flicked it over the bar. The ball is now with Clunis, who's got plenty of room to run on this near side. Clunis looks to deliver the ball into the box. It's a dangerous ball in the end. It's parried away by Dan Lincoln in the Bogner goal. And Clunis seemed to find a little bit of room there. He has done on a couple of occasions. The ball again played back in towards Tom Lindell, head the ball down. Another good opportunity, and Dan Lincoln comfortably picks the ball up on that side by Nathan Green. And he's got the ball at the moment. He's got a good cross on him, Nathan Green. He holds back for a moment on the edge of the 18-yard box, checks back into his right foot. He'll play it back to Chambers on that far side. Maybe the opportunity to cross has gone. It's played uh, in to Tomlin. That's a really good turn from Tomlin on the edge of the box. Might get a shot off here, Tomlin. Comes back onto his right foot, edge of the 18-yard box. Tomlin shoots, great shot! And it just goes past the post. Really good feet there from Tomlin on the edge of the box. He twisted and turned and waited for his opportunity and then fired a shot just wide. That is definitely settling into the game now, definitely. Looking the more comfortable side. Last couple of times, Bogler have been in possession. They've gone long, been a bit rash. And it is Dulwich who've got the ball on that far side. It's a lovely little turn and play into the box. And it's in the 18-yard box, but Bogner are going to win this back and get an opportunity to clear the ball. And live for back of the net this afternoon for this Ryman Premier League final. As Bogner looked to get the ball into the box with Oli Pierce, who crosses the ball in. It's going to be well defended away by Drazy. It'll fall on the edge of the box, though, to a Bogner player. And it's a really good Crane effort in the, the end. Crane just shoots over the bar from the edge of the 18-yard box for Bogner. That was a good chance and very direct play from Bogner. And Oli Pierce's cross falling to Crane on the edge of the box. It was a good effort over the bar. Good shot of his right foot. Preston Edwards in the Dulwich goal. He launches it high and it'll be one in the air by Bogner and will get the ball down and look to build again and we'll get the ball down to Doug Tuck who lays it onto this near side and Dylan Barnett he looks then for Oli Pierce who wins the ball and drives into the 18 yard box chance here for Bogner Oli Pierce all the way across it's going to be it is! and it's going to be a goal Jimmy Mewitt, for one Regis. Jimmy Mewitt puts the ball in Fantastic ball. and puts Bogner ahead in this playoff final it was a great ball down this near side by Dylan Barnett who put the ball into the path of Oli Pierce? He you know. went into the 18 yard box, drove the ball across, and Jimmy Mewitt was there to put it into the empty net. And 21 minutes gone in this Ryman playoff final, and it's Bogner 1, Dulwich 0. You know, Hayden said about five margins, five minutes earlier, Dulwich get a great chance to, to play the right ball, and Pierce there. You know, a more selfish striker might try and narrow, narrow angle, shot, angle shot. Played a fantastic ball, picked out his teammate. Yeah, two great balls, but for me, the, the most important thing was the uh, was the run and the sharpness of uh, Ollie Pierce to run off in between Drake and Weatherston. So sharp and quick off those lines. Always looking to break the line of the, the back three and gets there and makes a good decision, as you say, and a fantastic ball, Aiden. A run out all the way to the far side. So Kadja will keep it in and look to run into the box again. He gets a lovely little dink into the box and it's a good head away from Bogner in the end. But it's a chance for a strike and it's well Thanks over the bar it. in the end. We knew it was going to be a tight game today. And these two sides who know each other so well and have been one or both of them in three of the last four years in the playoffs. And last year, of course, Dalit Hamlet 
coming out on top against Bogner in the semi-finals. Yeah, plenty of quality. Danger and here. it's now here to so Ollie Pierce, and it's in the 18-yard box. What can he do? Plays it all the way across, and there was a couple of Bogner players waiting. It was a, another good opportunity to get the cross in. A few chances in that second half. And Dulwich find themselves 1-0 down here. They need Sakaja to conjure up something in this game. It's a lovely bit of play there by Carew. It's going to come to Clunis on the edge of the 18-yard box. Chance for Clunis to shoot. It's well blocked in the end, and... Beanie will pick it up and spread it all the way to that far side to Green once again. Green will cross it in low. It's an opportunity now for Dulwich and somehow oh, wow. the ball got stuck under Tomlin's feet and Bogner managed to clear as far as James Fraser who plays around the ball in the wrong area. Oh. And ball, referee Deliberate blows and the box. may be the first booking of the game. James Fraser got himself into all sorts of problems there on the edge of his own box and went down on the floor. It will be either Tomlin or every, Carew. Every Bogner player behind the ball. We are standing over this and it will be Tomlin who dinks the ball up and it's only just wide. It was a really good effort by Tomlin. He struck the ball with his right foot and just went wide of the post. I know he'll be taking the next one. <laughs> it'll be Carew, he'll be disappointed that he um, didn't get the opportunity there. But both very good on the ball as Aidan said and can, can work things from in and around the box. Into the Dulwich 18 yard box. Corner comes in, it's a good corner as well. It's going to be ahead oh. and it's just wide. It was a really good cross, and it was Sammy El Ab to just flicked it over the bar. It's a throw to Bogner on this near side, and they'll throw it high up in the air, and Chambers will flick it on. James Fraser will look to pick this up. It's to Dre. She tries to clear, and only into the path of Ollie Pierce. He's into the box. Ollie Pierce into the far corner. It's 2 0 to Bogner. It's a great finish from Ollie Pierce. It was Matt Drage's mistake. The ball came to him. He tried to clear it, and Drage could only clear it into the path of Ollie Pierce. It was a dreadful clearance in the end. Ollie Pierce took the ball down, controlled it with one touch, and fired it into the bottom corner. It's a mountain to climb now for Dulwich Hamlet. Bognor Regis Town 2, Dulwich Hamlet nil. Yeah, Pierce has just come alive again in the penalty box, and it's a really soft goal because, um, you know, centre half um, at Fulton, the keeper didn't look, you know, kind of looked to appear to just kind of jump over the ball. Very soft goal. And Pogner 2 0 up in this Premier League final as we approach half time. And Pogner now in a great position, um, Ben, because they can now start putting that ball around the corner even more now, you know, and put them real under pressure. He's got a decision to make now. Uh... Opportunity for Bogner to possibly have a strike at goal from here is going to be a strike at goal. It's driven low and it's just gone past the post. The it took a deflection. The keeper's rooted to the spot there. Preston Edwards was getting nowhere near that. It was a low free kick driven in by Ollie Pierce, and it took a deflection off a Dulwich player and it's gone out for a corner. It's going to be taken by Pierce on that far side. Delivers a really good ball into the box. It's Sammy going to be well headed. It's a great oh. header by El Abd and we saw that in the first half. El Abd headed the ball a couple of times over the bar. This time he gets onto it really well just outside the six yard box. It's a great header and it's flicked over the bar comfortably by Preston Edwards in the end. Absolutely, it's sixes and sevens and from marking these corners. They, they, for a side that are so big, they just are not willing enough and aggressive enough to put their head on the ball. They're not matching the, the heart and desire of the two centre halves of Bogner and they have to do that because yeah. they're going to lose this game if, if, if it doesn't change soon. The ball is with Dulwich again, well inside this Bogner half, and they'll look towards Clunis to get the ball into the box. A really dangerous ball in, and in the end, it's Al Abd who gets the ball away, and it's flicked even further away by Crane, but only as far as Beanie. Can he get the ball back into the box, Beanie? He's just on the edge of the 18 yard box. He goes all the way back to Chambers, and Chambers will play a neat little ball into the feet there of Tomlin. Tomlin looks to have a little turn, and he does do a little turn. That's great a great play. play from Tomlin. Wonderful shot, and just over what the bar. What a bit of play that is by him. Really, really good play by Gavin Tomlin on the edge of the box, and he jinxed into the 18-yard box, past a couple of players, onto his right foot, and in the end, it took a deflection because the referee says it's going to be a corner Got to safe. Dulwich. Fantastic ball into his feet from Chambers, and it was a free kick, but the referee played on and danced past a couple of players like they weren't there to give him an opportunity now for this corner coming in. And here's White coming forward for Bogner. White on the edge of the 18-yard box, opened up some space for himself. Lovely little jinx into the box. Brought down, penalty to Bogner! Great it was run. a lovely run. Harvey White, fantastic. By Harvey run. White into the 18-yard box. He jinxed into the 18-yard box. It's going to be a yellow card as well. And I think it was Beanie, brought him down. It was a clear penalty 
from where we were. No hesitation by the referee whatsoever. And now an opportunity for James Fraser to put the ball down and surely put Bogner into the National South next season. Yeah, this is game shot and match if this goes in. James Fraser to put Bogner 3-0 up on 64 minutes in this playoff final. Fraser steps up, lovely kick from Fraser. It's saved by Preston Edwards to his right-hand side. Big moment. Really big moment in this game. James Fraser's penalty kick saved by Preston Edwards as he dived to his right-hand side and parried the ball away. And maybe, just maybe, that will give Dulwich the confidence to go and get a goal in this game. It's long up towards James Fraser. I didn't think he was going to get there then. Kanko went for the ball, but Fraser's now got it. He's got room to run. Chambers is with him. He plays it onto this near side and Jimmy Mewitt, who can run at the defender and get past Green. Mewitt's going to get a chance to get the ball into the box. This is a dangerous cross. It's a really good effort. Really, really good effort in the end. It was Ollie Pierce on the overhead, just outside the six yard box. And it just went over the bar and another opportunity for Bogner. Great football. Really good. Really good stuff. The chance seemed to have gone. Pierce is saying he's no good. He's done his hamstring, I think. His hamstring's gone, minutes yeah. Ago. And it's coming to the box now. Really oh. dangerous area. So Kadja's in the box. It's a good yeah. interception by Dan Lincoln in the Bogner goal in the end. Absolutely devastated. Devastated Oli Pierce looking at him, signalling to the bench that he can't play on. And it's a bit sloppy from Bogner who give the ball away and a chance for Carew to get it onto this near side. Now coming to the feet of Tomlin. What can he do? Tomlin, three players around him. Looks to get the ball in. He dinks it in with his left foot. Really good cross from Tomlin. Superb from and it was Gavin Tomlin. Brilliant from Barnett to get it away. It's only as far as Carew on the edge of the box, though. What can Carew do? Dinks it in. It's Goal. Turned by Sakaja. Oh. Good great save. Feet. And great feet from Carew to get that ball into. I think it was Sakaja, was it, in the end? Unlucky not to score. Bogner now, body language wise. They look like they've been defending for long periods, mm. you know. Yeah, and fresh legs on the pitch now. Yeah, yeah. D Dulliger, Dulliger now, everything's shorter. All the passing shorter, yeah. five, five, ten yards. Fifteen minutes just over with added time left for Dulwich to get that goal and get themselves back into this game. And it's on that far side and it's the referee. Had a little look at the referee, he says play on. And Clunis has got it, chance to get it into the box. Appeals for handball against El Abd. Play on, says the referee. It comes in to the box. It's what a goal! It's a goal! What a goal! What a goal! And it's Cogbo with a fantastic finish from the edge of the area. It was Clunis who dicked the ball in to the edge of the D. Cogbo hit it with his right foot. Fantastic volley. And it went into the top corner. And it is game on now. Bogner 2, Dulwich 1. Got, you've got to say, good referee. <laughs> he played on with a handball, yeah. loved the ball back in the box. And fantastic ball just hovering around the edge of the box. And a fantastic finish. Yeah, great, great ball in by Clunis. And... Uh, Every inch the Sierra Leone International had a great finish. Yeah, wonderful finish by Cargbo there to get his side back into the game. And Clunis had had that ball out there on a few a few occasions, had threatened to do that. Really nice ball in. He and won't yeah. score a better goal in his career, I wouldn't imagine. That's a fantastic goal for a centre half. Unbelievable. What a say now, what a, what a test now for Bogner. Gets in a really dangerous position. And this could be an opportunity to seal the game. Barnett puts it in, tries to go for a shot low round the wall, and it goes into the side netting, never troubling Preston Edwards in the goal. And it's bouncing around in the centre circle, and it will be the substitute Wild. All six foot four of him will get the ball back. Good opportunity for Wild to run now. What's he going to do? Is he going to play in on the far side? He will play in. It's a great opportunity for Bogner. Offside, goes into the net. Offside. But the flag's already up. And it was Alex Parsons who Wild played in on that far side. And the flag went up and it won't count. Back towards Dan Lincoln, who I'm sure will take all the time in the world. And we'll bowl this out to the near side and Harvey White will get the opportunity to run into the Dulwich half. He plays it long and Chambers will look to deal with this. He doesn't, it goes all the way through and Preston Edwards will come out and claim the ball. Rain coming down, the ball's just got an extra slide on it all of a sudden. And Edwards goes long again. And again, we've mentioned throughout this game, when they go long, they're not getting the joy. And I guess at the moment we've only five minutes have added on time to go. You're going to go long and... Surprised it's taken so long for Dulwich to bring on another striker. Yeah. It looks like here he's, um, Demac is going to come on and give him a different dimension, you know. Sometimes different things, they cause defenders different problems and they've got five minutes left and they've, they've waited a long while. 
And it's with Bogner at the moment. And oh, it's really well intercepted. This, this could moment. be an opportunity. And it's going to be Kamara. Skips past a couple of players. Kamara does really well. Lays it into that far oh, side. Oh, just shot, the man. last minute. Kamara with that ball towards Clunis. It was a really good bit of play by Kamara. Jinxed in past a couple of players. Looked like he was going to take the shot. Laid it off towards Clunis on that far side. It just didn't quite have the legs. He's got to believe was... in himself more there. He's yeah, done fantastic. And it's back with Dulwich, well inside the Bogner half now, as Bogner looked to back off. And Got to fill the box up. Clunis on this far side. Can he get the ball into the box? Clunis gets it in. It's a really good effort from Clunis. It's bouncing around in the box. It's cleared by Bogner. It could have gone anywhere. Another opportunity to get the ball back in the box. Now they do. They go towards Kamara, the substitute. It's out again. Kargbo is going to pick it up. It's going to be back in towards Dulwich on the edge of the area. It's going to be Karu. What can Karu do? Karu goes for a shot into the hands of Dan Lincoln. It was deflected by Karu. But it... Lincoln takes it down well and another minute or so is eaten up yeah, on Lincoln's the referee's played, watch. Lincoln's played well today. Really good hands. The ball is with DeMarco the substitute. Comes into Cardbo. It's intercepted again and Bogner now have the ball. It's Wild who will pick it up towards Doug Tuck and Jimmy Wild will go forward now to the edge of the 18 yard box for Bogner. What can he do? Can he finish it off? Will he run into the corner? the corner? Got it onto the edge of the box. Left foot. Go to the corner. Just hold it in the corner and got a feeling they're going to do just that no reason to do anything else and really and the referee blows the final whistle Bogner. and some of the fans come on the pitch and it is all over and it's Bogner Regis who will be going into the National South next season they've won here at Nywood Lane 2-1 against Dulwich Hamlet it was a fantastic game and all the fans make their way onto the pitch now around the Bogner players and it has finished. Bogner Regis Town 2, Dulwich Hamlet 1. As some of those Dulwich players make their way off the pitch. They con contributed so much to this season and they can be proud of their achievements. But once again, for Dulwich Hamlet, they fall at the final hurdle. And Bogner Regis celebrate promotion. The feeling, Lee, you had this uh, a week or so ago, the feeling now to have done it after all the season's hard work. Yeah, great scenes here, you know, every, all the crowd on the pitch, the players, everyone, uh, Jamie all and all his staff, they deserve this. I, I really feel, you know, to come, I think, 13, 14 points ahead of uh, Dulwich, they deserve to be promoted. They've been very consistent this season and, and they're a really good little side here and Jamie has done fantastic with them and, and, and they deserve it. I'm really pleased for them. So disappointed for Dulwich, the second year on the trot, they miss out on the playoffs final, bridesmaids again, but it was the right result on the day and the right result for the season. Um, as in the uh, Rhineland South as well, first and second have been promoted and, you know, you can't argue with that. <laughs> and here he is, the Bogdan Regis manager, Jamie Howe. Jamie, congratulations, what a fantastic victory for you this afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, it was. You know, it's um, you know a very hard-fought game. You know, I thought we played well in certain areas, and then you know got a penalty, and I thought, oh, that's good. And you know, and we always seem to do it the hard way here. And um, yeah, but I thought I thought that showed tremendous character from the lads today. It's been been like that all season, and uh, I couldn't have wished and uh, couldn't wish for a, a more genuine and honest bunch of lads. We mentioned we gave the centre backs particular praise all over the pitch. You were brilliant, especially in that first half. But the experience of Charman shining out there with, and, and those leaders and, and the way you, you came through that game you must be so pleased I think so I think you know last couple of weeks have been difficult obviously and um, I thought Gary and Sammy at the back you know have just been superb all season you know Chad missed out today and him and Ed Sanders whenever he's played they've been brilliant um, but no I'm just I'm really pleased for you see the scenes here at the moment with, with everyone it means so much to the to the fans here we've, we've come close a few times and not done it so I'm just delighted that we'll have a really good day today and I know you'll enjoy this evening. We were just talking about, obviously, with Lee here, about next season being in the National South. Does your work start straight away tomorrow morning? Yeah, it'll all work. You know, we're going to have a headache to do, tomorrow. Get everything sorted all out. So, um, yeah, we'll enjoy tonight first and then go from there. Listen, we'll let you go and enjoy it. Congratulations, and, and we look forward to seeing you next season. You must be absolutely delighted. Fantastic game, and uh, what a great way to do it this afternoon. Yeah, no, it was a uh, really tough third time lucky for us. We should have gone up straight away. Uh, we should have beaten. We had a chance to beat. We haven't taken a point. We haven't. And we won the league, and then we lost to the Truce Met Police. I mean, the character from the team to come back from that 
was immense. And fair play to the management to try and build it back up because we were we were dead on our feet at one point from that. And yeah. it really, it really did, really did take a lot for us to lift this room. So credit to the boys. We could have made it easy for ourselves. Could have gone three up. I could score two. Um, but we managed to hang on in the end. So great character from us. And to be fair, it's deserved. We finished 12 points above them. They're a great team. They've got great support, and they are. They always have done. They always will do. But we finished 12 points above them in the league, and that's the playoffs for you. But so I think it's deserved. Deserved a result. And I'm delighted to say that we're going to get to speak to Gavin Rose, the Dulwich Hamlet manager. Where did you think he just didn't come up to scratch today? On the counter-attack, we got done <coughs> uh, the first time around. Uh, he stood the ball down the side of us and we spoke about that uh, in training. But uh, in, tr in, in matches, things happen really quickly and I think we switched off. There's a lot to take from, um, from the season. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the result we needed today. And that's still gutting, but at the same time, there is uh, there's some, some positives. And how do you go forward next year? Obviously, disappointment of the last few years in the playoffs, um, the last couple of years in, in the final. How can you go forward next season and take that, that next step? Uh, I think the truth of the matter is we've, we've done it before. Um, we've, we've bounced back before. Um, the amount of finals and things we've lost, and we've, we've come back again. Um, so we know we're, we're, we're capable of doing that. We know we're mentally capable of doing that, so um, that isn't a problem. It's just uh, taking a few days to, to dust it off and then go and get there. If you're a Bogner fan, massive congratulations to you. You'll be playing your football in the National South next season. We look forward to uh, seeing you then.